A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, you will learn how to load data from text data sources to database table. You will be using Apex Data Parser package for data uploading. The package contains a number of routines, but in this tutorial you will use the parse pipeline table function, which provides this output. There is a line number column, then columns named col001 to col300, so there is a maximum of 300 columns in the data. For this exercise, we are going to use this EMP CSV file, which is placed in a directory named dmpdir4 on the database server. And this is the content of the CSV file. A link for all the files used in this exercise is provided below in the video description. Here are the steps for this exercise. First, create a directory on the server. We created a directory named dmpdir4 on E drive of our server. Then, connect to your Oracle database instance as system using SQL command prompt. On the SQL prompt, Execute the following two commands. Here, DMS is the schema that contains the table in which we will import data from the CSV file. Copy the downloaded EMP CSV file to the DMPDIR4 directory on the server. This is the directory structure on our server after completing this step. Now, log into your Apex workspace. We are connecting to the DMS workspace in which we will create a table to hold the uploaded data. Go to SQL command and execute this script. The script will create a function named file to blob that will load the data from the CSV file into a blob. Next, create a table that will be used to receive and hold the data from the CSV file. Finally, execute this PL SQL script to read and upload data from the CSV file. The first select statement in this script evaluates the number of records in the CSV file using the parse function of the Apex Data Parser package. The parse function calls the file to blob function passing dmpdir4 folder and emp csv file as parameters. Then, a for loop is invoked to read the data from the blob and write it to the emp temp table. And here's the outcome of this whole process. As you can see the employee's temporary table has been populated with data from the CSV file. In addition to the CSV file, you can also upload data in Oracle Apex from XML and Microsoft Excel files. The EMP XML file contains data in this format. In this case we need to use the PRO selector parameter to show where the array of row data can be found, which in this case is the results row tag. Note that the column names are not included in the output by default. If you want to display the column names, set the value of P add headers row parameter to Y.
The EMP Excel file contains the CSV data from the EMP CSV loaded into Excel and saved as an XSLX file. There is only a single worksheet named EMP Sheet. If we are interested in the first worksheet, we can keep things really simple and use it in a similar way to the CSV example. That's it for now. Stay tuned to have more videos like this. Thank you for watching.